This question says, how to jail a police officer who murdered your friend? Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Is there... Okay. All right. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah, okay. All right. So hit me with the logistics. Um, your friend murdered by cop. How put that cop in jail, do you? No, there has to be more. <laughs> That's it. That's the whole question. Kill me. There's more, That's right? That's the whole question. Come on. Yeah. That's like... That's a movie, right? It's, I'm sure. I'm sure. With the same language, too. My friend died from cop. How jail? Um, <laughs> it's, how jail cop? He killed friend. See, there, there are too many factors to take into account. Like, did your friend deserve it? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Was he asking for it? Did Is anybody it? asking to get killed? I'm like, just, in... in no, I mean, no, the, the answer is yes. The yes, is for yes. sure. For sure. There are some people that just literally say, kill me, and then d- nothing okay, happens Okay, that wasn't to them. quite the idea, but yes. <laughs> um, uh, the, other, the next thing is, how good, how tricky is this cop? Are you working with quite the tricky cop? Because they, they, the, they are on the police force. Um, now, most cops are the people that put other people in jail. So you've got to convince another cop that this cop deserves to be in jail. Yeah, right, so that's, this isn't a that's this a tricky isn't a full revenge situation because you otherwise you'd just be asking how kill cop, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, you'd um, say how do I get vengeance on this gosh darn cop who murdered my friend, cold blood? How? Do, yeah, how do I? Yeah, seek vengeance. Anyways, you're um, you're just a good Samaritan that's like this cop did wrong. How do we get him behind him bars? Justice. Yeah, yeah. Um, give him what he deserves for murdering my friend. Anyways, exactly. um. I think that yeah, because you gotta you gotta convince a whole slew of people what the issue is, right? It's sort of like the the corrupt corrupt you know cop system sort of situation. You gotta break in. You, I think you go to training school. Maybe you just do this the training the school, way. just in general, school for training. Go for it. School for training. Yep. Train up. Do it. That's it. Um, yep. <laughs> no, you go to police training school. Um, you become a cop. You earn your trust. You earn trust in the rankings. Mm-hmm. Learn that you kind of like it. and That's actually a good job. And yeah. you got transferred away from the guy who murdered your friend, and then you're okay. Or <laughs> alternatively, you don't get transferred away, and you're stuck with this dude. And this this idea of this sort of mild vengeance of just having him being put in jail gets stuck in your mind, and you eventually are just like, "Hey, Dave, he sucks, right?" Yeah. And that's sort of that sort of sort of talk forever you've you've you know gained like 50 pounds and put on a mustache and cut your hair in order to look like a completely different person than this cop remembered and then one you become partners with him you you pretend Mm -hmm. like you love him but you have like a shrine for his you know his his impending doom uh, (laughs) in your closet and one day as you're just like walking through like an old apartment building you're like, oh my gosh, I found the perp. And he's like, what? And then you just put cuffs behind him and you rip off his police clothes and, and like, and then and what? have him like, yeah, frame him. Uh, That's all I'm saying. Frame uh, yeah. him. I don't know. The, I don't know the specifics. This is a movie. Uh, well, this I is mean, some movie. Well, you definitely I just could type these events into Google and, get, and probably and get, get some hit. 10 different movies. Yeah. For sure. The thing that you need to keep in mind after all this training, though, is are you willing to face the consequence uh, emotionally? Because there will be two things. One of two things will for sure happen. Either you will be so, become so close with everybody on the force that once you finally jail this police officer, somebody else is going to be like, hey, that police officer was my friend. And then Uh-oh. we're going to get a question that says, how chain. do we jail a police officer who jailed my friend? My and, police officer friend for killing my police officer friend's friend. And the thing that yeah. sucks for you is we're so gosh darn good at giving advice, you're going to end up in jail too. Um, unless he really yeah, wants vengeance, gonna then you're going to end up murdered because unfortunately we have to help who asks. Um, that's yeah. not up to us, what they ask. Yeah, they'll hear that you asked us and they'll ask us in return how to get back at you and we'll give really good advice and then you'll be able to do it. Exactly. I think that's what you're saying. Yep. Yeah. The other consequence here is maybe become too close of friends with him and you regret putting him in jail. And then you ask us a second question of, I put my own friend in jail. How do I put myself in jail? Oh. Now that's goodness. going to be a conflicting one for us because... Me, oh my. Not because we'll have started to care about you, but like we already gave you advice, and now you're getting greedy and asking us two questions in like the same day, and that's yeah. Wait, hold you, on. You gotta you gotta lay back because other lay there's off, a buddy. line, bud. Like, 
I know that. What's we, this guy's name? This is Vinzilla. Yeah, screw you, Vinzilla. Yeah, screw off, Vinzilla. Yeah, get off. All right, I'm done with you. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna give a question now. All right, perfect.